Welcome to this second and um, a little more challenging workout. You're going to be working out for about 25 minutes, and I'm, I'm sure glad you're here with me. You're going to need some hand weights. I have dumbbells, but you could use cans of food or bottles of water, and as you get stronger, they can get heavier. You're going to need a chair and a towel for when we stretch, and some water close by so you can stay hydrated. Let's put down our weights, and we're going to start with a little word about posture, because it's so important always throughout life, but especially now. Pull up tall. Feel that a string is pulling you up from the top of your head. Your shoulders are back and down, but don't let your rib cage stick out and pull your abdominals in. And again, don't just think of sucking your abs in. Imagine someone's about to punch you and you, you steal yourself against the punch. That's what you have to do when I say abs engaged. That's right. Knees are slightly soft. This is how your posture should be. Put your hand to your nose and then pull your face back about an inch. Now your head is right over your spine. You, know, you don't have to look rigid like a soldier, but I mean, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't it feel empowering? This is the way leaders should stand. We have to teach our young girls to stand this way. Now with that posture in your body and in your mind, we're gonna do standing stretches. Inhale up and up and down. Two more. Up. We stretch and down. Warming up our shoulders last time. Up and down. And now reach and reach and reach and reach. Feel it in your waist. Stretch. That's right. And stretch. And three and two. Last time. Great. Stand up tall. Now we're going to do our first exercise, standing pelvic tilts. Squeeze your abs in, shoulders back, bend your knees a little bit. Exhale, rock forward, squeeze, and back. Forward, squeeze, and back. Exhale, forward, inhale, back. Exhale, squeeze, and back. Keep your abs tight, and back. Pull up tall, and back, and squeeze, and back, and tighten, that's right, and back. Last time, and back, great. Now we're gonna do ankle circles. Walk to the side of your chair. You can hold on if you need to. Maybe you don't need to. We're gonna do 10 times clockwise and 10 times counterclockwise. Ready, and circle. Ankle mobility is really important for balance. Do you know that every year, one in three people over 65 fall, and this can lead to potentially crippling, even fatal fractures in reverse? It's really serious. And the reason we fall more now is because there's the normal tendency as we age to lose our sense of equilibrium. Three, two, one, great. Now we're gonna change sides. Again, we start 10 times clockwise and circle. You know, as we age, various physiological changes in the inner ear, the bottoms of our feet and our eyesight challenge our sense of balance and reverse. And that's why it's important now to stay strong and practice balancing whenever we can. Three, two, one, that's great. Now we're gonna bend over with a flat back. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, exhale, slide your hands down your thighs. Keep looking at the TV, don't collapse down. And up, and squeeze, and down. Don't hyperextend your knees, keep them soft. And up, and squeeze those glutes. And down, and up, and squeeze. This exercise is great for the backs of the legs. Keeps your core muscles strong for walking, bending over, and picking up grandchildren. Keep your back flat like it's a tabletop, but keep looking at me. And up and squeeze. Four more. Down, down. Stick your buttocks out so you feel that stretch. And up, up and squeeze. Down. We're stretching the hamstrings. And up and squeeze. And down. Stretch it back. And up and squeeze those glutes. 
Last time down, flat back, reach it out, feel the stretch, and come up and squeeze. Yay, good for you. Now we're gonna do chair squats. Sit in the chair. Your feet are about hip distance apart. Your knees are aligned with your feet. Don't let your knees roll in. We're gonna get up and down. Try not to use your hands at first. Ready and up and down. Drive the weight into your heels as you stand up. If you have to use your hands, fine. But gra gradually, as you get stronger, you won't need to. And down. The goal is to build up the strength so you can do it without using your hands. Make sure your chest stays high, your shoulders are back, your head is up looking at me. Don't look at your knees. Don't let your knees cave in. You know, the muscles come in pairs. One pair to push, the other to pull. And you have to exercise both equally. We're working the quadriceps now, the front of the thighs. And right after this, we're gonna be working the hamstrings at the back of the thigh. We're almost done. Inhale down, two more, and up and down. Great job, last time and down. Great, we're gonna have another set of those coming up. I know you just can't wait. Okay, stand up, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Reach up, ready, and one, two, Keep your body in one plane. Avoid tipping your body from side to side. By doing this, you're working your core. And you exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Your pulse is increasing. It's getting a little aerobic. That's good. Four more, three more, two more. Last time, yay. Put your dumbbells away and let's get behind the chair. We're gonna do alternating hamstring curls. Remember I said we were working our thighs? Now we're working the back of the legs. Holding onto your chair, if you have to. Kick butt, and left, and right. And the higher up you can get your heel, the closer to your buttocks, the more you work your hamstring muscles. <sighs> Make sure your abs are engaged. Don't rock side to side. You know that without regular muscle building exercises, we, we lose muscle mass and tone, and especially of this part, legs, hips, thighs, the trunk, and this can have a real effect on balance. And kick, and kick, that's right. And breathe, and pull up tall, and two more. One, and two, yay. Step to the left side of your chair now. Get your weights, stand up tall, Bring your left foot behind you with minimal weight on your back toe, just enough to balance, okay? Palms are facing out, facing the television set. You're gonna bring your dumbbells up and down. Now we're working the biceps and down. But we're a little bit unstable, that's on purpose. Because what this means is that while we're working the biceps, we're also working our core muscles to keep us standing up. We just want a little weight on the back toe. the abs and down two more that's up and down and last time up and down very good now we're going to stand with our feet a little more than hip distance apart shoulders back abs in elbows close to your side we're going to bend over with knees soft flat back and lift up and down and up and down stand up squeeze and down Lift and down and lift and down. Stand up and squeeze and down and open and close. Lift out. This is great for the back and shoulders. And up and squeeze down and up and down. Exhale, inhale, stand up, squeeze and down. Last time, out and in. Out and in, up, squeeze, and that's it. Good for you. Now we're going to alternate front shoulder raises. This works this front part of the shoulder. It's really great for making strong, healthy shoulders. Hold your weights by your side. We're going to alternate sides. Bring one arm up and down, up and down. Keep 
keep the abs engaged. Keep your back straight, your head up. Feel proud. Look like a leader. It doesn't matter what size you are. If you feel good inside your body, it's going to make all the difference. Lift and lower. Keep breathing up and down. I was just remembering a letter I got from a, a gal that used to do my workout, and she said one morning when she looked in the mirror and saw herself brushing her teeth, she saw a muscle in her arm. She said, that day I went to my office and I stood up to my boss for the first time. Four more, lift, and down. You never know what's going to happen when you get strong. And up, and down, and up, and down. Last time, that's up, and down. Great. Now put your weights down. And let's come behind the chair for, for squats. You're gonna hate me, but it's my favorite exercise. Hold onto your chair if you have to. Put your legs apart, toes slightly out. Lower your body down as low as you can go in order to hold it for one minute. That's right, it's intense. Keep your knees over your toes. You know, you don't want them to roll in. Keep them out. The goal is to eventually come down so that your thighs are parallel with the floor, your buttocks are on a level with your knee. We just hold this. <laughs> you feel a, a heat building up, you can feel the burning. That's because we're so stressing the thigh muscles that lactic acid is building up. That's a good sign. It means we're really, really working those muscles. Remember when I used to say, go for the burn? This is what I was talking about. Pulling up tall, chest lifted, stomach in, head up. According to research, people from 50 to 72 years old can actually increase their muscle mass 200 times with exercise. I think that's just amazing. Why can't it be you? Okay, we're almost there. Hang in there. Four, three, two, one. Shake your legs out. You know, and when you do these exercises, if you need to at some point, stand up and shake your legs out and then just come right back down where I am. So let's grab the weights again. We're gonna do standing tricep extensions. Your knees are soft, lift your arms up over your head and bring them back and raised. And back and raised. Keep your upper arms stable, close to your head. I don't want to mess up my hair so they're not right against my head. And lift and inhale, exhale. Abdominals are engaged, back is strong. You're working your triceps and the back of the arms. You've got four more. And exhale, inhale, two more. And back, last time, and back. Great. Now keep your weights, we're gonna do shoulder raises to the side. We're going to have soft elbows. Lift up and down. Exhale up and down. Remember, I used to say, think of hugging a big tree. Those arms are a little bit bent. And control it down. Don't just let it fall. Bring them down slowly. And repeat. This is strengthening your shoulders. Abs are engaged. Oh, you're going to get tired of hearing me say that, but it's so important. Strong stomach, strong backs. We have four more. Three more, and two more, and last time, up and down. And now with both your weights in hand, we're going to do bend over rows. Feet a little more than hip distance apart. Bend down with a flat back. Now this time, look at the ground. Don't let your head drop. Keep your neck engaged. I just don't want you to go like this and your neck. You're going to have a neutral neck. Let your arms hang down, and row up and down. Keep your elbows close to your sides and up. These are working important back muscles. The knees are slightly soft. The back is like a tabletop. Your head is right on alignment with your spine and you're breathing. You exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Abs are tight and down. Two more and down. Last time and down. Straighten up. Good for you. Now we're going to bring our arms overhead. Palms facing forward. 
and bring your elbow to the same knee, alternating sides. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Really feel the crunch in your side, working your oblique muscles in the sides of your waist. That's right. Very controlled. And breathe. And strong. I know this is challenging, but it's great for your core strength and your balance. Yes. Keep going. Three more. Two more. Last time, yay. Put down your weights. And we're going to do alternating side leg lifts. Try to do it without using the chair for balance if you can. Starting to the right and lift and down. Lift and down. Knees are just a little soft. Exhale, inhale. Keep your hips stable, your abs engaged. If you have to hold on to the chair, do it. This is really good for a not very used muscle called the gluteus medius in your buttocks. If it gets weak, it can throw off the alignment of our hips and knees, causing injury as we get older. And lift and down. And lift and down. And lift. And three more. And two more. Last time. Great. Now for the second set of chair squats. Remember, feet are right under your knees, 90 degree angle, pull up tall, abs engaged, ready, and. You know, the average adult spends 61% of their waking hours sitting. It's true, and scientists are starting to believe that simply getting up and walking a few steps every hour can be a big help. Now make sure your chest stays high, your shoulders are back, you're looking right at me, your knees aren't caving in, keep them in line with your ankles, you know that lifting weights or doing any kind of resistance training with weights or bands not only increases your muscle mass, it also improves the strength of your bones, which reduces your risk of osteoporosis. And down. And two more. And down. Last time up. And down. Really good. Really, really good. Now we're going to do core chops. Take one, one weight. Hold it in both hands, feet apart. Knees slightly bent gonna down and up and down and up. Do it very controlled. Don't just sort of swing it. Use your muscles in the core, your trunk, your torso. And up and down. Keep your abdominals engaged and down. This is an excellent way to increase your range of motion. Do you know that most people pull their backs out just reaching for something? Four more. And this is good for functional sports, too, like, like golf or tennis. Up and down. Last time, that's up and down. Now the other side. And up and down. Exhale, up and down. And up and down. Flying a kite. strengthened our muscle, guess what? We need to stretch them. So have your towel close by. You're going to need it for this first one, or maybe not. Some of you can just grab your foot, pull it in like this. I used to be able to do that. If you can't do that, try pulling your pants. If you get your knee back, your heel up. If you can't do that, use a towel. That's what we have it for. <sighs> Holding onto the chair. Pull your heel as high up as you can into your buttock. That bent knee, that thigh, should be lined up with your standing leg, not forward. And when well, you probably can't get it back, have it right on, right lined up next to it. And pull the heel closer to your buttocks. That's right, good. On the other side. that heel in. And don't forget, the bent leg is lined up with your standing leg. It's not up here. It's back. Push
push it back as you pull your heel into your buttock. You know that we have to hold every stretch for 20 seconds in order for the muscle fibers to really relax and stretch. You know, so don't try to rush through these stretches. Almost through, and there you go. Let it go, push your towel down. We're gonna need it in a minute. Now stretch your left leg back. And press the heel, ooh, into the ground. Feel the stretch up the back of the leg and the upper calf muscle. The front knee, again, is lined up with the toes. To maximize the stretch, you can come forward even more. You've got to breathe into the stretch. Breathe. That's great. Now bring that back foot a little bit closer. And then again, bend the knee with the knee aligned with the toes. Now what you're doing is stretching the lower calf muscle. Can you feel it down lower? That's right. Lower if you can. This is really good for women who wear high heels a lot because their Achilles tendon gets shortened. And this is stretching it out, so it's going to be hard for y'all. Good. And now the other leg. Stretch it back. Press your heel into the floor. Feels good. Remember, always hold the stretch for a minimum of 20 seconds for it to really be efficient. Back up. Hold in, breathe, four, three, two, one, and now bring that foot forward a little and bend the knee, keeping it right in alignment with the toes. Now you can feel the stretch in the lower calf. It's good. See, I don't wear high heels anymore, so this is um, not as hard for me as it is for some. I'm stretched out there anyway. Almost done. Now you're going to put your right foot forward and flex your foot real hard and pull down, pull your chest down, stretch your buttocks back, feel the stretch in the hamstring up the back of your legs. Oh, that is so good. I love that feeling, but then I'm weird. I like the feeling of when you're a little sore after you've exercised because it tells me I really, you know, I pushed it. I'm too hard. You have to learn the difference between real pain and exertion pain you've just done a good job of working out. And other leg. Flex the foot forward and pull back with your buttocks. Pull down with your chest. Maximize the stretch up the back of your leg. That's the hamstring muscle that you're feeling. We've worked that a lot, so it's good to stretch it out. Don't collapse. Keep pulled up. Come in. sit down. We're going to stretch out our hips and our glutes. Put your right ankle on your left knee. Good. If I can really feel it. If it's too intense for you, straighten out this leg a little and put the ankle in the front of the knee. That makes it a little less intense, but you know, I like pushing the envelope, so I'm going to put mine up there. And I used to be able to push my knee way down. I can't anymore. Just gently press to maximize the stretch. You're, you're really stretching the hip and glutes. It's so good. Okay. Other side. Now here. Good. Remember, you can go like this if it's, if it's too intense. chest and bicep stretch. Get your towel and put it behind your chair. Your palms are facing backwards and you're going to lift your arms up. The closer your hands are together on the towel, the harder it's going to be. Sit up tall, engage your abs. Your chest can get really tight. That leads to bad posture, so it's really good to stretch it like this. Hold it there, lift it a little higher if you can. right arm and press it across your body. Bring the other arm underneath, underneath, and press that shoulder. Press it into your chest. Boy, I really feel the stretch right here. Do you? See, when you do this, you don't, don't drop forward as you press. 
keep your shoulder pulled back and then pull against it with your hand. Pressing your arm across your chest. Go up tall and slouch. Keep breathing. It's almost done, so you should be laughing. And now the other side. Arm across your chest, other arm underneath, and press it in. Pulling your shoulder back as you press. And breathe. And breathe. Drink as much water as you can all during the day. It's unbelievable how important it is to hair and skin and all kinds of bodily functions. And release. Now for a next stretch. Push your right hand under your chair. Tuck your chin towards your left shoulder and bring your left hand up and gently press your head down. Now you notice I'm not pressing forward. I'm pressing sideways like a robin tucking its little beak in its wing. Pull up tall, don't collapse. Feel the stretch up the side of the neck. Three, two, release. Other side. Time you press your chin towards your right shoulder, right hand on your head, gently press your chin towards your armpit. The other hand is under the chair, which is keeping you from tipping over and allowing you to maximize the stretch. Keep breathing. And release. down and last time up and down yay congratulations I'm so glad you hung in there with me you should feel amazing I'll see you next time okay